Well, the most exciting thing of what's happening in quantum computing is that we've gone from a realm of exploring the fundamental science and even questioning whether it was going to be possible to build a quantum computer to now be in a stage where this is being demonstrated and the first approximate quantum computers have been created. And to be quantum ready means to start learning, developing the skills about how they will be used, how do you program them, how do you write an algorithm uh, to benefit from it, to also understand the rate of progress, how quickly is the field of quantum computing going to evolve and being able to answer that question, and then to be able to map it to potential applications that are going to be relevant for the particular use cases of a client. So by understanding the state of the art and how it's advancing, by learning how to program, by developing intellectual property associated with it, and be able to explore applications on that roadmap, that journey is a journey of you know, getting quantum ready to then enter into a final stage will be the era of quantum advantage. And that's when we have exploited all of those characteristics to now use quantum computers for commercial advantage. The Q Network enables our clients to be quantum ready by first providing them access with the world's most advanced quantum computers, right? The IBM Q systems. Second one, by combining it with expertise and knowledge through the participants of the networks, both the expertise that IBM and IBM Research brings to the table and through our hubs, through our network of hubs that also have their own expertise to be able to combine it with access to systems to then being able to exploit it and be able to learn how to write programs with it and, you know, and explore algorithms and applications. So the combination of access and expertise through collaboration is what makes the Q network special. Through the Q network, we are going to have the opportunity to develop a new basis of intuition and how to program this unique new computational capability, right, the quantum computer. This is not an area where it's just, you know, whatever we were doing and here comes some hardware and we just, you know, adapt it to it and it just runs better on that. That's not what this is. It's actually a very fundamental new form of computation that requires thinking differently. And it requires to have a different set of understanding of how to construct algorithms and benefit from the power of a quantum computer. In fact, we have a wonderful sticker uh, that we put in the back of our computers that uh, one of the members of the IBM uh, Q uh, team created that says, you're thinking too classically. And it's a good illustration of, you know, this mind gap that we have to do. That when we're thinking too classically, we're not really exploiting the problems and the opportunities that can be addressed with a quantum computer. So by being part of the Q network, that intuition can be developed. Because now you have experts who can think differently, who are not thinking too classically, to be able to exploit the benefit of a quantum computer. The main mission of the Q network is to get us to that era of quantum advantage. We have set the goal of the network to discover within the coming three years or so the first practical applications from which we can derive some kind of quantum derived advantage. So that's the number one mission. As a network, we're going to get there and figure that out. It also, in that journey, it has as its mission to grow that ecosystem, grow the skill and expertise level, foster uh, the educational aspect of learning about quantum computing and how you actually use them, and to also generate you know, valuable intellectual property and knowledge and know-how that benefits the members. And ultimately, as a result of solving problems that will matter, ultimately benefit society.